making her third consecutive start. And you look at Heidemann, coach, and she has done a really nice job. A year where they went 23 and 11, third straight year. Connecticut has won 20 plus games. Edge over to Heidemann. It'll be behind the back, walks the handle into the hands of Parker. A great position inside. It's been defense in the paint by committee. Quigley pulls the trigger. And Allie Quigley, the 34-year-old, out of the ball. Donovan gives it up. Connecticut Sun. They need to add to Alyssa Thomas and Dewana Bonner and Jasmine Thomas get top in the corner. She's a little shocked she got the technical two in that contest. I'm talking to Courtney Vandersloot. She said she was even to their second and third actions within the shot in, within their offense. Check into the lineup for Chicago. The rookie who just gives it off in her last two games, 0 for 6 from 3. In the last two contests, she has been in single digits. And that was after she had sat for a long time. Yeah. When she came in the game, she had to stretch a little bit, and then the, the play was drawn up for her. Thomas was looking about going behind that kiss because she looked off balance. She took that one escape dribble. Oh, beautiful pass inside. They thought that they had corrected that in their last game against Dallas. There's oh, great. Point. Here comes Bria Holmes out of West Virginia. Bonner off. Beautiful. But refuses to stay sidelined. Holmes, a little too strong, gets her own rebound, kicks it out. Jasmine Thomas. The pass out, Bria Holmes out to Jasmine Thomas, and Thomas doesn't hesitate. Throws ball. Lead down to one. Sydney Colson getting some playing time. The former Texas A&M Aggie flips it up. up. Once the WBA season started. So she leads Chicago in scoring as you go to the final 60 seconds of the opening quarter. Potter, another step through again. Miller saying no foul. Potter comes away with it three on one if they hurry. Nice pass up ahead. It's right. very, very slippery. Individuals were trying to be that spark for their team. What they have done, even in their win against Dallas and what I have seen today against Chicago, not one player has to do it by themselves. Big basket for DeShields. That's your second three-pointer made with the three from Charles. Charles' is second WNBA three-pointer made. Got top to shield. Third year out of Tennessee. Connecticut tries to come up with a save. Gabby Williams got it. Oh, beautiful pass right there. Miller constantly talks about the improvement that's coming. He sees it in practice. He loves it. Oh, beautiful pass. Azure Stevens looking for her first two. Can't get it. Williams, beautiful pass to Stephen. Up ahead, Vandersloot. Oh, beautiful cut by DeShields. The generous today. <laughs> the backcourt of Chicago takes about 50% of their shot. That may just be the play that gets her going, following up the offensive glass and muscling through, getting the... Heidemann, Vandersloot goes out to miss her. Nice triple team in the post. Connecticut, down by eight. Really having a banner year this season as a starter. Been very impressive. Jasmine Thomas waits for the pick. Chicago looking to get back on the winning track. Gabby Williams. Shot clock at six. Drive. Shot clock work down inside of nine. Big long arms by Gabby Williams into the hands of Vandersloot. Williams running the floor. Again. Run now by Chicago. Thomas focus. leads him in scoring. The focus for the sky over the last couple of days has been their deep down low. Well, she was so aggressive, Jones was in that Dallas game. Just running the show. 12 points, three assists already in the ball game. Melissa Thomas, Ben Thomas. As Ray Stevens playing straight up on Jones, tough pull up jumper. 
And the steal by Bonner. Bonner inside. Lead cut to five, still five seconds left. And the steal by Stevens to the hole. Bonner, an outstanding first half. Season high, four steals, two off her career high. Oh, great position inside. Quigley, nice ball fake. Such a quick release. She's got 14. I like watching her without the basketball. Ezra. Vanderstoot already seven assists in this ball game. COVID and then the ankle injury. And they really need her because she is such a force on the edge. You got to remember they've had the COVID break. It's been a long mm -hmm. time since they've been able to play game speed. Now their legs are catching up with them. Copper, let's see the game. Jasmine Thomas playing her straight up, takes him to school. And then on the other end, quickly has a chance to cut this margin down. Jasmine Thomas can't get away, they go inside. They are showing trust in Kurt Miller's system. Penetration by Copper, no, tied up. Frustration. Oh, yeah. And I was coaching the Orlando Miracle, and uh, we were playing the Cleveland Rockers, yeah. and I got tossed. Oh, yeah. Remember when Reagan Peebley, now the TCU coach, he played for the Cleveland Rockers. Rio Holmes. Quickly out front. Holmes over the timeline to Bonner. Back to Holmes, the long three. And lead down to one. It's up ahead on the break. The Diamond Stills getting out in transition. Bonner that step through we saw in the first quarter can't get it to go up ahead what a pass again to Shields no oh rebound pushes her way off the block tough fall away jump shot no Alyssa Thomas the rebound just fell back to Vandersloot allowing Stevens to read both beautiful really good presence of mind get it to the easy layup Potter leads in. Stevens has a height advantage, but I guess I agree with you, Ron. Wide open layup. Yeah. That's a higher percentage. Jasmine Thomas has had a big game. 17 points and three assists. He wants to take away straight line drives. He wants to be in good rebounding position and then good Still a lot of time left. Again, Connecticut trying to get their second consecutive win. Parker in four, and Seattle got a four-game win streak. Snap Phoenix's four-game win streak. Seattle winning at 70. Jasmine Thomas, they showed her the double. Maria Holmes, Thomas picked up her fifth personal foul. Guard spot. Well, and well, you got to put her in the game, but then that leaves an option for Jasmine Thomas to make. Azari Stevens has had to play some as an anchor there, but mainly they depend on Cheyenne Parker. Parker now would have to play in the ball game. It's still just an eight-point advantage. Oh, great cut by Quigley. She faked one way, then can't get in the corner. Gabby Williams for three, can't get it to go, and they'll get another shot. Copper backs it out. Copper on the drive, defensive breakdown and the compliment. This is the strength. She has that afterburner speed to get by the defense. Teresa Plaisance in to try to add some shooting for Connecticut. Nice pump thing. Inside. Not good. Yeah, yeah, their opponents are only averaging 84.7 coming into this game.
Holmes inside, plays on, it's off the glass. Teresa plays on, it's got it. The plus is that hopefully in the next couple of games that the Chicago Sky will have Stephanie Dolson back and maybe that'll help their defense. Now that's the way it's going to end, 100 to 93. Chicago with a seven point win. Valiant effort by Connecticut.